I'm Luke Lifevesti. And I'm Landon Dowdy. And we're taking you behind the business. Hi, this is Luke Lifevesti. We're here at the NYMEX for Behind the Biz with the CNBC interns. We're here with Sharon Epperson, CNBC's senior commodities correspondent. How's it going? Going well. It's going well. It's a busy day in the commodities market, so cool, it's cool. always fun. Take us back to the 20-year-old Sharon Epperson. <laughs> I know you're an Ivy League lady through and through, so what were you like? What were your plans for the future at that point? Well, I knew actually back then that I wanted to be a journalist. I always loved journalism ever since my sophomore year in high school when I started working for the school newspaper and I started working with some local journalists in my community in Pittsburgh that were doing a workshop for high school students. And they really reeled me in and I just love the business. I loved telling stories. At the time, I loved talking on the phone with my friends and sharing stories. So I thought, this is kind of just an extension of that. We're, yeah. you know, I'm just telling stories that I like. And so when I, in my 20s, I was doing a lot of internships. When I was in college, I did an internship every summer. I did an internship during the school year. And mostly I worked at newspapers, but I also worked on a documentary on, a, on the civil rights movement. I worked at a local TV station in Boston. So I was probably somewhere doing an internship at this time in my 20s. Cool, cool. Um, so now looking back, you're here at the NYMEX as the senior commodities correspondent for CNBC. Did you ever see that coming? I never saw that coming. I didn't really, in college I studied sociology and government, those were my majors, and in graduate school I was focused on international affairs with a focus on African studies, and in all of that I took economic classes, but I never thought I would be covering business news. But when I had my first job at Time Magazine, I had a bureau chief in the New York Bureau who said, I want you to be able to cover everything. And we're in New York, in business capital of the world, and you need to be doing more business stories. So I started doing more business stories, and I got more comfortable. And then I started watching CNBC, and I thought, this may be a place that I could work one day. And when they hired me, they wanted a good storyteller, and I was good at telling stories ever since high school talking on the phone. <laughs> so that's how I ended up here. Perfect. So now looking back, what is the best advice you'd give your 20-year-old self? The best advice I would give my 20-year-old self is to always be curious, to take every opportunity as just a new experience. It may be something that you don't end up pursuing as your career, but it may be something that influences the way you think about the world. And I think that every opportunity that you can take, whether it's an internship or traveling overseas, which is so important if you can afford to do that and get the opportunity to do that, writing in your journal, all of these things are really important and they really help to establish who you are as a 20 year old, but also who you're going to be. Great advice. Um, do you have a favorite moment or most embarrassing moment from all these years on TV? Hmm. Well, my favorite moment is the way that I started in TV, and oh, yeah. I was nervous. Um, I'd done some packages as a producer, but I hadn't been on air. So the first time that I was on air doing a stand-up, the photographer who was working with me said, just pretend you're talking to your mother. <laughs> so I just looked at the camera and I said, hi, Mom. Well, today <laughs> in the mutual fund industry, what we're learning is, or something like that. Oh, and it great. made me feel so much more comfortable, and it was taped. So I knew they could take off the hi mom part. Oh, perfect. And then when I started doing my live shots, I would just say it in my head, okay, I was talking to my mom. And then I'd start talking. So that was probably some of the best advice I got about being more comfortable on camera. And the other advice that I think I've gotten is to be a really strong writer. That no matter whether we're ad-libbing our, our stories or we're writing them for the website or you know for some other digital medium, you need to be able to write. You need to be able to express yourself. And they are expressing themselves all the time. So we need to be able to, to do that no matter what you're writing about. It's very important. Definitely. OK, now time for a lightning round. Yes. OK, do you have a favorite person you follow on Twitter? CJ Farley. Oh, yeah? That's Why? my husband. I have to oh, say yeah. that. <laughs> great, great. OK, what is the last song you listened to on your iPod? Anything by Rihanna. Oh, yeah? You like yeah, Rihanna? I like Rihanna. That's awesome. Um, okay, what is your favorite non-CNBC show? WSJ Cafe on WallStreetJournal.com because my husband is the host of it. I have to say these things, or I have to go home tonight, so I have to, I have to say these things. That's great, that's great. And it's been 
so great hearing from you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been great having you here. Thanks. Thanks.